In this Star Wars Outlaws news update video, I will be sharing with you the fact that the game has now been completed, plus a few other bits of details about the game and what to expect from now until launch. Before we do get into all of today's news though, make sure you do subscribe to this channel so you won't miss any future news updates on Star Wars Outlaws. So, we are now in July, which means Star Wars Outlaws releases next month. That's right, we are so close. That August 30th or 27th release date has come up pretty quick. And late last night, Ubisoft made a big announcement. They announced on Twitter that the game has gone gold. In case you aren't aware what going gold means, this is the term games use when they have been completed. This means they are going off to be printed on discs. The game is finished, bar a day one patch, which I'll talk about later on in the video. But I just want to say a massive well done to everyone that worked on the game. Hundreds of people worked on this to put it together. Shipping games is not an easy task. It's a miracle that any of them even come out. It's a big team effort and I really hope they've done a great job with this game. Massive put out Avatar Frontiers of Pandora last year and that launched pretty well. It was very well optimised, stuff like that. So fingers crossed the same for Star Wars Outlaws here. A lot of the developers were celebrating on Twitter last night the fact that their game is complete and it's done, it's ready, aside from the day one patch. So as for the day one patch, they do have just under two months to put one together to finish polishing the game for when it does launch on August 27th for gold edition and ultimate edition purchases. And then there is also the final retail version that launches on August 30th. As we know from previous information I've shared in other videos of mine, they've been polishing this game for quite some time now. So now the game has gone gold, there are a couple of key pieces of information that we should expect to get over the next few weeks. So people have been asking me, where are the PC system requirements? It's a little bit strange that we still don't have them. And that's right, we are still waiting for them. So now the game is complete, they should start putting out these PC system requirements for the game. If I had to guess, they are going to be very similar to the avatar system requirements. So take a look at those, see what those are like. It is a little bit more demanding than most games, but it looks fantastic and it is very performative. It's smooth, it's optimised, it's really, really well done. It's using the same engine, it's an open world game and it looks great. So if I had to guess, they're going to be similar to those avatar requirements, but we should get official confirmation soon. Plus preloading. We don't have preload information at this moment in time. I probably expect us to get that in August rather than July, but who knows? I'd imagine stuff like that will be coming out in the near future, but of course it, they also don't want things to be data mined, so the PC preload information, stuff like that, won't necessarily come out until closer to the release. But I would be interested in the download size as well, because a lot of people have been asking me, is it going to be 200 gigabytes? It won't be. The Avatar game, I think, was about 70 or 80. I'm sure it won't be a big bloated game like Call of Duty or Jedi Survivor, which was very unoptimized in comparison to Avatar Frontiers of Pandora. I've also had some people ask me, when will there be more gameplay revealed for this game? We got quite a lot of gameplay just a few weeks ago, so I wouldn't expect any gameplay in the immediate future. We also know that in the coming month, the game will be showcased at some big events, San Diego Comic Con at the end of the month, but that doesn't seem like an event where they're going to reveal new gameplay. They won't have a press conference for it. And then it will be at Gamescom at the end of August, but again, that's literally just a couple of days before the game actually comes out, so I doubt we would actually get a big showcase for it there either. I'd imagine there will be a launch trailer though, that's typically what happens and stuff like that, so stay tuned for that closer to release. Now on to some new details about the game and its development. So this is coming from Stephen Totillo, who put out in his newsletter that he interviewed Julian Geraghty, who is one of the directors on this game. So what's really interesting is that it's not just Massive who made this game, it was a collective effort from 11 Ubisoft studios from around the world, and the total team size is about 600 people. So it's mostly at Massive. They are the main developers of the game, but they have had support from additional people at the various studios. The team size is comparable in scale to the crew behind The Division 2. So, so that's just an example to give you there. Plus a really interesting insight is that, you know those arcade games that we see K playing and we know there are going to be six in the game? Well, Ubisoft's Paris studio created those rather than say Massive so they could help finish and polish the game. Also, the team's mantra behind the beginning of the project was to create a really compelling, infinite, explorable open worlds. And for this game, they've basically created multiple planets, 
to explore to your heart's content. They are proper open worlds. And then from the beginning in terms of the story, Julian says that they really wanted to start off with you being a lowly street thief and then you get catapulted into bad decision after bad decision and finding yourself facing off against, say, Jabba. That's something very different for Star Wars, and one of the main inspirations was the After Hours film by Martin Scorsese. The game may have crossed the finish line, but we are almost there in terms of release, and I can't wait to play this game and make tons of videos, so please do stay subscribed for this. Comment down below any of your thoughts on anything I've talked about in this video. Drop a like if you enjoyed this video, and if you did miss any of my previous videos, click on the playlist on screen right now, and I shall see you in my next video. Goodbye.